Welcome guys to my first PvE build for the new patch, Scribes of Fate. I'm on my stam core with a 2H front bar and do with back bar build. Wrecking Bill, the 2H spammable, got a huge buff. It gives now Major Berserk plus 10% extra of lead damage for 5 seconds after activating it. This brings 2H front bar builds back, which is really nice. No changes on the class itself, just some small adjustments, like the bow nut synergy, grave robber got nerfed by 34% and the necro passive death needing which gives more stamina magicka back now. They've also increased the synergy damage of the banner ultimate called shackle by 20% and conduit the song skill for 20% too. Night attacks are still the same even if they change some scaling stuff so don't worry about that. Damage wise nothing really changed here. Enough talk about the small changes, let's get straight to the build. So front bar. Pillar of Nun Greatsword, in precise with the poison damage enchant. Why precise? We lose a ton of crit rate without two daggers, right? And there's still not a 2H weapon which gives crit rate, which is a shame. They should change that. Means we need to change the crit rate loss with precise. Alternative, I've seen some piles with charged, but charged is only best since not on Warden so far for the extra chill status effect. For other classes, probably only precise the best choice. Then back bar, black rose prison daggers. With the black rose prison daggers, we get another 6% extra flat damage if we use daddy cloak. So in total, we are at 16% extra damage with wrecking blow and the black rose prison daggers. Then as monster set, still Zahn. Probably the strongest single target monster set. And instead of reliquin, I've been using Corrupted. The slightly more damage, around 1 to 2k. But if your resource management is not on point, I would still recommend Reliquin. It's easier and more comfortable to play. About the glyphs, always full max stamina on the body. We are at 7 medium armor pieces, we don't need penetration on the Necro. With the passive dismember, which gives 1.5k penetration, very nice. Then trades full divines for the maximum crit rate bonus with the thief mundus. Jewelry bloodthirsty with weapon damage. By the way, they changed the damage to the glyphs. They are hybrid now. The physical one gives stamina region on top, as you can see. 10 stamina region each piece, so in total 30. And the Magicka morph gives Magicka recovery. Then front bar 2H greatsword for extra weapon damage. Imprecise with the poison damage enchant. Why poison though? We have Zahn, which procs the burning status effect more than often enough. Would be overkill. To put a flame damage glyph on a front bar. That's why I have a poison damage glyph, which applies the poison status effect, which also deals dot damage. Then I proc the flame damage enchant on the back bar with the berserker glyph for extra weapon damage. As alternative, instead of black or prison daggers, I've also tested Hapuna's winning killed. Still viable, don't worry about that. Deeds more or less the same damage. I had better results with the black or prison daggers with killed around 1 to 2 killers. Instead of Pillar of Nirn, there are some options like Wall of Deaths, Aegis Caller, or even Advancing Kira for extra crit rate, works too. Alternative to Zahn, Kiana is possible too, or even Stormfist. But Kiana can be only used by one player in a group, don't forget that. Question is, is it worth to use 2 H on the front bar with Wrecking Ball spammable? It deals more or less the same damage than my previous PvE build with Dual front bar and Silver Shards as spammable and then 2 H back bar. So it's up to you to choose. I just want to show you something else this time with Breaking Burst Spammable. Talking about the skills, Executioner on the front bar as 2H Execute. I'm using it at around 31%, then I drop Blast Bones and Vacuum Blow completely. I just spam Executioner, but I will talk about the rotation after this showcase. Then still stocking Blast Bones, the Magicka Maw for more damage. Vacuum Blow as Spammable, Detonating Siphon which also gives 3% extra flat damage, just dotted. Then Calf is extra dot, slightly better than Stampede. Flawless Stormbreaker just dotted for the extra weapon spare damage. Back bar Barb Trap for minor force, 10% extra crit damage and an extra dot on top. Then Daddy Cloak as extra AoE and for major evasion 20% AoE damage reduction and of course for the Black Ops Prison Daggers for the extra 6% more flat damage. Then running slashes, more flex spot, alternative for more AoE damage, go with counter -ups. 
It was more comfortable for me to play with Rending because the duration is 5 seconds longer than Countrops, means we can use Wrecking Ball more often. A bit Boneyard for the own synergy. Even with the 30% nerfs, they're worth to use. Skeletal Archer, the stamina morph for more single tide damage. And Shooting Star as damage ultimate. For supporter, Colossus is still needed for the major vulnerability buff. Race Dunmar, best in slot. Thanks to weapon spare damage, Magicka and stamina. As alternative race, go with Kajit, the kitty, for 12% extra crit damage. Works too. Then Mundus, like always, the thief for extra crit rate. There's no other option for solo content, maybe the lava Mundus. But other than that, thief is best in slot. Then buff food, I'm using the green max stamina food which I normally only use for parsing. In actual dungeon or raid content, I recommend to use the blue max stamina and HP food. If you have three sustain issues, even with Coral Riptide, then go with Lava Food Soup or the ATM take with both. Add three points, everything in stamina of course. Potions, the normal weapon power potions with Savagery, Brutality and Stamina. CPs, Daddy Aim, Mastered Arms, Rawful Strikes and Exploiter. Did some tests with Tomaturge instead of Master at Arms. Did more or less the same damage. For actual content, if you have issues to reach the crit damage cap, which is 125%, then put out Exploiter for Fighting Finesse or Backstabber. Red CPs, Bounders Vitality, Rejuvenation, Celebrity, and Fortified. Here we are with the pass. I think it's best if I type the written rotation in the description below instead of explaining it in the video. Most of you guys are into the written rotation anyway. If you have questions about the rotation or the build in general, type them down below. I will try to answer them as fast as possible or just add me on Discord. I always have time for my viewers. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you probably in one or two days for the next PvE build. Peace. Press play, all I hear is you And it goes like, ooh, ooh Yeah, yeah When I press play, all I hear is you Oh, every single song tells me we're through Yeah, but I can't turn it off cause it's the truth Yeah, it's the truth And it goes like,
say 